Hey guys, Nav here from Nav's Media Productions, and today we are starting a brand new project on the channel. Recently, I've come into the acquisition of an old IKEA table, and it got me thinking, what could I do with this table to make it better? So then I thought, why not make a layout on it? But then, another thing crossed my mind in... It's only a small table, so you're going to be looking at something quite small enough. And, quite frankly, I was right. Because you can't get double O gauge on that. You could get N gauge on it, but it would be a bit of a faff. So I thought, why not go for double O nine? Now, double O nine is N gauge, is 9mm gauge track, but 4mm scale locomotives and rolling stock. Meaning that the buildings used for double O nine are the same as for double O gauge. So, yesterday, I went up to Arcadia Models in Shaw, and I purchased the Pico 009 Starter Pack. I purchased a Gage Master Model Combi Controller, and a Rocco Feldbahn diesel locomotive known as Leo. Um, spent um, a bit of money there, so I thought, why not bring you guys along with me to build up this layout. The layout in question is going to be called Baraba, which means Little Barrow in Welsh. So it's going to be based off a heritage railway, which means I can run pretty much anything I want on it, and then I'm going to be taking it to railroad this year. So hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's get on and see what I've got. Okay. Before we get started, I thought I'd show you the actual locomotive which I bought yesterday up at Arcadia. And it is this. Now, I know it doesn't look like much because well, it's just a box. But um, this is actually the Rocco Feldbahn and diesel locomotive which I bought yesterday. Um, as you can see there, I spent about 53 quid on this, so not bad. Um, it's all this. Oh, it's just all the just all paperwork. We can have a look at that in another video, guys. So, um, what's this? Is this just another paperwork bit, or is this a, um... Oh, this is like a, um... This is, um... It's like a parts diagram for it, so... Um... I mean, thankfully, it's not got it in both English and German, so... You know... Very helpful. And now we actually do get to the locomotive itself. And if I just pull it out of the packaging. Packaging aside. And here it is. Now, this is the first of maybe four locomotives I'm going to be getting. So, I bought this for... Um, 53 quid, like I said, and if we just take a look at it, like, it's tiny. It is, actually, um, I mean, if you do look, if you just tilt the cap towards the camera, uh, you can actually just about see the motor, but when you're um, going to be operating it on the track, doesn't exactly is not exactly visible. Bit of luck on the wheels. Hmm. So um, I've already had this running in. If most of you guys who know me outside of you outside of YouTube, um, you will have seen this on my Snapchat story yesterday. Um, I got bored in college, so I thought I might as well give it a little test. Um, Performance wise, it runs like really well. Um, also, if you can just see it, there it is. There it is. It's called Leo. So, um, I mean, like that's just in my hand here, guys, and you can see how tiny it is. I mean, if you have a quick look at the. Um, the little motor chassis underneath. Look how intricate those gears are. Microscopic, actually. 
I wouldn't like to be servicing this. I have it serviced somewhere else, actually. Um, but if you look at it, it's a typical, like, maybe German or Austrian, just an industrial locomotive. But for what I'm doing on Barabá, it's going to be just, you know, your, like, the works diesel, which takes a maintenance train out. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and get a, um, I'm going to get the loop set up, and then we're going to give this a bit of a run. See you in a minute. Okay, so now we actually have the track fully laid out. Um, so it's just a little square. It has a siding over there, um, and then just a loop of track, and then an inside siding there, and then we've got the gauge master combi there. So let's get the engine down on the track, and let's see it running. Okay, so we now have the locomotive down onto the track, and let's just select the direction and let's give it a whirl. And then if we just bring it down to level again, we just bring the engine round then and stop there. I'll just back it up a little bit. Come on. Okay. So that's just a quick running session with Leo and the loop track that we've got. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're not already to this channel. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video with, the new, with another update for... Barabach. This is Nav Media Productions, signing off.